Hey everybody, welcome back to a Lego vlog. No, no, this can't be a Lego vlog. I'm supposed to be taking a day off. Well, this is going to be a day off vlog with me and Mrs. Brixie. We've got lots of exciting things planned for today. So I'm excited to take you on a little journey. First off, I'm starting my uh, day here in the Lego room. Got to do some social media posting. Didn't say I wasn't going to do that. Uh, also, I've got to get something put back up into the windowsill over here because it's not there right now because it went on a little fun adventure the other day, but we are gonna be putting the Titanic back right now. So the set's actually rock solid. You can like tilt it upward like that. So I've had it on a towel like that for a couple days and I've actually been flipping it from side to side and it seems to be completely dry. Let's have a look at it. I guess the true test would be like to pull off some of these panels and see if there's water in there. Mm. Yeah, there actually seems to be a little bit of moisture in there. So uh, it is confirmed that we will be taking the entire Titanic apart. Yeah, there's water under the tiles. We will be uh, taking the entire Lego Titanic apart and we will be drying it. Of course, I'll probably leave, I'm not gonna do that right now because it's our day off, but uh, I'm gonna leave it for probably another few days here. Continue to take off more p panels and see if that's the case. And if it is, then we'll completely uh, deconstruct the Titanic and of course, rebuild it. I had a great time building it, so I would build it again. And Mrs. Brixie didn't get to experience any of the build anyway, so now she gets to experience building the Titanic. Also, when we build it in three different chunks, and there's two of us, we're going to build it a lot faster than the original first take. Okay, so there's that realized. Uh, we've got a few different plans for today. It's a day off. It's Saturday. No, it's, you're not watching this video on Saturday, but that's the day today. And we're going to start by going to our favorite place. The first thing that we have to do is walk these little buggers, right? Look at them. Look at that smile. Hey, Tico. That smile. Nice smile. So we're just waiting a little bit here to get into our favorite breakfast place. Well, I forgot to show the before, so you're gonna get the after. <laughs> Sorry. So what a delicious breakfast that was. It's like roasted tomatoes and spinach eggs benny it's fantastic we just finished up at the barber shop got a haircut we're here at west summit mall also checked out our p.o box while we're at it as well and check out all the mail wow that is pretty amazing thank you pretty sweet new dragon hey eh? not bad a little photo op here at west summit mall pretty sweet so now that we finished up getting breakfast and finished up at the mall as well we're at best buy i like lego and electronics Looking at something completely random here today. So I'm looking for, believe it or not, MP3 player. Something that can uh, play Spotify as well, but I just can't seem to find anything. Because we've done a lot of snowboarding this year, well, I, I hope to. So I know I need an MP3 player, or I just use my phone with like earphones like this so they don't fall out. I would use standard earphones, but my bloody phone doesn't have a headphone jack. Isn't that crazy? So I gotta get something like this so the Bluetooth headphones don't fall out when I'm snowboarding. Or I get an MP3 player as well so I don't have to use my phone to listen to music while I'm boarding. So I'm having a hard time finding that here in store. I'll probably have to do it online. Who in their right mind is looking for an MP3 player with smartphones in this day and age, hey? Pretty crazy. Now I'm thinking to myself, maybe one of these crazy cool watches is the way to go so I can like change the track on my wrist. And it keeps track of all the cool stuff, eh? But I still need headphones. So I went in there not really knowing what I wanted, and I came out not really knowing what I wanted. Nothing has changed. <laughs> Guess we're gonna give it some thought and do some more research online. But I wanna listen to music while I snowboard from a portable device with headphones that don't need a cord and won't fall out of my ears. Comment below with your suggestions. And I also don't wanna use my phone and pull it out more than necessary. Makes sense? Maybe it's the watch, maybe it's an MP3 player. I know for sure it's the wireless headphones with the little doodad that goes around the ear, right? I think that's the way to keep it in place. And listen to some sweet tune skis while shredding some snow. So we're back at home now and I got thinking to myself about this headphone thing here and I recalled that I rolled up the rim and I got a $20 gift card to Skull Candy. Roll up the rim is like a Tim Hortons thing, so Thank you, Tim Hortons. So I was looking at these, these are gonna be perfect. They're gonna stay, wow, that is that is yellow. But I'm gonna go with true black. And then 
I'm gonna order those, which are on sale right now, from 140 to 100, and I have a $20 gift card. Look at that, four and a half stars of 307 reviews. That seems pretty good. So I'm gonna get these for 80 bucks from Skull Candy, which seems pretty amazing if you ask me. Especially when I see those same headphones, keep in mind this is Canadian dollars, right? On Amazon for $125. It just seems like a no-brainer to me, so perfect. Got the headphone situation figured out. Beautiful day out, so now that I'm done that, it's time to shoot some hoops. And I guess I better pack away this pool as well. Unless it's something like Oreo cookies. Look, she's like baking a cake. Baking a cake. Because Virtual cake class. Can't really tell the and it's perfectly fine. But you don't necessarily want that buttercream. Just getting into my Mario phase here. So I did all that stuff there while Jose made that. Ooh, that looks good. A ghost cake. I like it. Very Halloween-ish. So funny story, Jose and I came to the corn maze here and we left ourselves about an hour before our movie starts because we're going to go see the new James Bond. And it is Saturday and extremely busy and the lineup is massive, so I don't think we left ourselves enough time. So we got to the theater about uh, an hour early. So we decided to enjoy the evening with some uh, Starbucks. So it was quite the eventful day yesterday. We had a lot of fun. Did some shopping. Miscellaneous shopping, right? You got those headphones, that's good. Also, went to uh, the corn maze. No, we didn't. We failed miserably at going to the corn maze. Also, when I got home from the James Bond movie, James Bond is a sick movie. I recommend it, very good. It was definitely a good closure to the Daniel Craig James Bond, if you will. I enjoyed it. Watch it. Sick Aston Martin scene. Classic Aston Martin. DB5. Lego Aston Martin. Yeah, that one. Pretty sweet, actually. I love that scene. And it's in like the first, you know, half hour of the movie, which is pretty sweet. Uh, so today we're going to continue doing some Lego stuff. Uh, or not continue, but resume doing some Lego stuff. And also, we're going to go to the corn maze and we're going to leave ourselves more time. It opens at 1 o'clock, so we're going to go there for uh, 1 o'clock. Uh, I think Mrs. Brixie's editing a Mrs. Brixie video, which is Ask Miss, Mrs. Brixie. And I am, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing today. I think I got to build the medieval fortress and I have a different video that I wanna make as well. So I guess that's about it. But Sunday is like, Sunday's always a fun day. I always do my social media and stuff in the morning. And we also go to my parents at night, too, for dinner, which is good. So yeah, exciting day today, but we'll bring you along to the corn maze. So I decided to put the Lego Titanic back in the window, despite it being a little bit wet underneath or between some of the pieces. But we will be parting it out, and we will be rebuilding it together, right, Jose? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you looking forward to that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it'll be good, eh? I don't know, the part out won't be fun, but like the rebuilding of it will be fun, right? It's a good build, especially, like it's a good team build set for sure. I actually did finish building the medieval fortress from Rebrickable. This thing is so sweet. Oh my gosh. It looks amazing. So that was today's doing. All right, we made it to the corn maze. Day two, we're ready to get lost. You ready to get lost, Jose? I sure am. You sure are? Right on. Phase one. The questions in this maze are just stumping us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so lost. I don't know where we're going anymore. No, not there. Not there, clearly. There's so many trampled paths, unfortunately. <laughs> Left, right, right, right. Going right. 100% I'm going with dog. That's a dog. Don't lie. Well, everybody, we did it. That's what it looked like in its prime. I wouldn't mind coming here in like August when it's green and it's not all bushwhacked, you know? That was fun though. It's not bad. Here we got the Hog Hotel. Look at these guys. Up here we got the Golden Goat Bridge. Now we're back in the maze for phase two. Hey, look, we got some kettle corn. Woohoo! Now check it out. This farm truck right here looks oddly familiar to the new LEGO Creator Expert farm truck set, doesn't it? 
Boom. So we got back from the corn maze and also from dinner. And now look at all these parts here. We just finished unboxing a bunch of parts and making a video on that. Working into the night here on uh, Sunday. And Jose is sorting those parts. What were you watching when I came down here? Cinderella. Cinderella. What do you watch that like once live a week? Live action. Oh, live action. Okay. Live action this time. Nice. Well, there you go. Jose sorting all these parts here, and I'm upstairs editing. I mean, technically, this vlog could just keep going and going. It actually was supposed to be my day off, but now it's just sort of been my doings into two different days. But I'm glad that we went and saw James Bond once again. Aston Martin scene. Aston Martin over there. Awesome scene. Hey, Jose? Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was so cool. Also went to the corn maze. That was a lot of fun. We got lost. Still thinking about that headphone situation. I got those headphones. I'm thinking about that smartwatch. That might be pretty cool for Borden. Imagine just being like, like it'd be like James Bond. Hey, Jose, if I got one of those smartphones watch things, I could be like James Bond. Pretty high tech. I'd have to hit the gym if I wanted to be classified as James Bond, but... I'd have to age a couple of years, too. I'd have to age a couple of years. No, I'd be young James Bond. Mm. Well, everybody, that's really about it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you stay tuned for some more great stuff. Remember to hit that thumbs up there. And thank you so much for coming on by. Farewell.